Hey everyone, welcome to my video series Around the World with Amy, Tools to Create Your Life. So I am currently in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, attending the Global Foundation. The sun setting in the background, beautiful skies here. Um, and so today I want to talk about a tool that I've been using at the moment. It's a tool from Access Consciousness. Um, and it's a tool I've been using actually to get clear about things. Have you ever been in a situation and you turned your awareness off? So like, say you're in a relationship and you decide, okay, this person is kind, this person is caring, this person loves me and I love them. So then that's all you're willing to see. You're only willing to see the kind and caring parts of them. You turn your awareness off to anything else that may not be kind or caring. We've all been there and done that, right? And then if you leave that relationship or you, know, you move on, a lot of times you start to see things you didn't see when you were in the relationship. So one of the things I've been doing lately is I've been asking for to get clarity for me because there's things now that you, when you leave a situation, it could be work, a friendship, a relationship, you start to see things that you didn't see at the time and sometimes it can be a bit fuzzy. You question yourself or you question your knowing. You doubt yourself, you're not sure what's true or not. So one of the things I've been asking for is what would it take for the truths and the lies to be revealed and exposed to me? So what would it take for what's true and what's a lie to be shown, for me to be shown? What's true here and what's a lie here? And everything that I have been unwilling to see, what would it take for me to see that now? What would it take for all the lies to be exposed to me? Now. I ask that also of the universe. So universe, show me what's true here. Show me what's a lie. Show me, show me what I've been unwilling to see. Expose to me what's a lie. Reveal to me what I've been unwilling to see. Because a lot of times you won't see things until you're willing to see them. So when you're willing to see them, you can ask to be shown. That doesn't mean then you have to go out and fight and you have to, you know, be right about the lies or what you start to see is what's true. It's really just for you to know for you. So for me, if there was um, lies in a relationship, it's not about me then going to that person and telling them how wrong they are or how right I am. It's about, okay, I get to actually get what, to see what's true and what's a lie. And I get to actually know then what I know instead of doubting me instead. And I get to see then how I shut off my awareness to certain things and how I actually knew all along, I had a knowing all along, I just didn't want to see it. I didn't want to know it. So when you finally are willing to know what you know, you can ask the universe to show me. Show me what's true, show me what's not true. Show me what's a lie, show me, and show me what, what wasn't a lie. And with time, the universe actually starts to show you. So you ask this question and then you let it go. You don't obsess about it. You don't, you know, try to figure it out. You don't like, go into your head and try to like um, master mental masturbate about it you actually just allow the universe to reveal things to you and as the universe reveals things to you it gives you this sense of clarity in your world like this sense of oh because when the universe shows you what's true and what's a lie it provides this sense of space in your world so you're like oh okay now I know what's true now I know what's a lie I don't actually have to function from these lies anymore or this and um, I don't have to function from this place where I don't know. You can actually start to trust you again, trust that you're knowing and trust that you do know. So if there's anything going on in your life right, right now that you're not sure about, that you're doubting, that you're looping in your head, just ask universe, show me what's true, show me what's a lie. What part of this is true, what part of this is a lie? Because not everything might be a lie. There might be some parts that are actually were true and what's true will let you up and what's a lie is heavy. And so the universe may start to reveal to you things that you were not willing to see before. And again, it's just like, okay, receive the information and then what can you learn from it? What is the gift in this now? And then it's not right, it's not wrong, it's just information. And then it's more information for you to trust your knowing again, to really come to, like, you've always known, you never, you've never not known, you've just maybe not wanted to know. And when you're willing to know, then it's like, oh, I've always actually really known this. I've always had awareness. Maybe I didn't want to have the awareness at the time, and now I do. 
and now what else is possible? Now what else can I create? Now what else can I choose? And go out and create your life. So that's it for today. What is true here? What's a lie? What would it take for what's true to be exposed to me? What would it take for what's a lie to be exposed to me? Universe, show me. All right, guys. Bye from Porto Praia. Tchau.